Hi, Rich Spizzano here from Digitally Feelers, and this is my second video on how to creatively use the stamp tool to create different types of art. You should check out my first video where I created a textured painting. In this video, we're going to do something a little different, so let's get started. So I'm going to go File, New, and I'm choosing anything. It doesn't really matter what size. And then I will go to Stock Photos. I typed in Scream on Pixabay, and this is what I came up with. So I'm just going to pull this out. And I'm going to go Document, Clip Canvas. So now the canvas is the perfect size for this photo. So here we have a little boy, and all I'm going to do right now is I am going to rasterize him, right click and say rasterize, and then I'm going to select him. I'm using my right bracket to make my brush bigger, and let's just use the selection brush tool. This should be pretty easy because the background is mostly, a, mostly in a gray family, and that looks pretty good. So let's just say now refine. And I will take a brush and just go across here a little bit. It really doesn't matter so much, but I'm just going to go around the edges. And I think that looks pretty good. I am now going to say new layer with mask and apply. So now we have a new layer with a mask. I don't really need the mask. If I think it looks good, I just wanted a new layer so there wasn't any fringing of color. So if I think it looks pretty good, and I do, I'm just going to right click and say rasterize and trim. Now here comes some fun parts. Let's just move him maybe, let's say around here. And I think I want to make it a little bit taller. So I'll just use my crop tool and I'll bring it up some. Let's move out and see how far we want to go up. But now I'll just do that and I'll hit apply or enter. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to take this guy and add another empty pixel layer. And I'm going to go to the clone tool. Now last time when I went to the clone tool, I wanted to copy everything exactly where it was. So I alt clicked and then I just continued painting immediately. This time I'm going to do something different. So I'm going to take my brushes and I will pick maybe a textured brush. So let's go to some kind of texture or spray, um, maybe some sprays. Let's try, let's see what we have here. Let's try sprays and splatters maybe. Something like this effect. I think this looks pretty good. And now I have to make my brushes bigger. So I'm using the right bracket. So I pick one of these brushes and I pick this one. And before, I, when I alt clicked, you, you're starting out where you want them to be. So I'm gonna alt click and make sure we have current layer and layer below. And so it's alt click and I'm going to click there, but instead of painting immediately there, I'm going to paint somewhere else. So maybe over here and I'm going to start painting him in and just keep painting along, which gives it a kind of a cool appearance. And as he's fading out here, I like this very light, but I want to fill in more of the face. Not all of it, though. I like that it's a little bit off, but I think that's pretty cool. And I'll leave it at that. So after that, I'm going to take that now, and I am going to do a range, flip horizontally. And I think I'm going to put him just like that. And maybe I'll even do another one, Control J. Maybe I shouldn't have flipped it horizontally because I could just do that again, though, and put another one on this side. And let's see how we can maybe angle him. Like, kind of like that, and maybe a little bit like that. Doesn't have to be exact, so. And I, I see that there's a problem here because I put too much on the outside. I don't know why that white appeared. So what I could also do is I could mask Let's try this one first. I'm going to add a mask and I'm going to paint with the mask, my paintbrush. And I need to take my paintbrush back to the basic brushes. 
and I'm painting in black on the mask so I can get rid of that excess white stuff and maybe even get rid of some of this. And I'm going to do it to the same to the other one. I'm putting a mask there, grabbing, selecting the mask, and I'm painting with black on the mask to just kind of get rid of some of this. Now, I haven't decided whether I want it to be behind or, or in front. I'm just winging it right now. Um, maybe one of them in front, like that. And I want it to look like, I could even stretch him. Let's try stretching. No, I don't like that. Let's just leave it that way. And let's keep it that way. And maybe, let's see if we multiply. A little multiply so that they kind of blend into each other like he's coming out of each other. And I'm going to keep that like that. So I'm going to select all three of these and group them. And I'm going to see if I go to effects on that whole group and do color overlay and make sure I put it on. We'll start with color. This color here. There we go. And I think I wanted to do some kind of a eerie, maybe a bluish like kind of like that. I want it to be scary, a little bit scary. And I think what I'll do is my hex slider, I just want to copy this number just in case I want to use that exact color. So I'm going to do copy and temporarily I'm just going to put some text right here and say paste. And that's the hex number. So I'm just going to keep that on the side so when, if I need it later on. I'm not sure I'm even going to keep it this color yet, but we'll see. And now let's try and get a grading. Let's get a background. So I am going to do, uh, let's see, a fill. So layer, new fill layer. And I'm going to put that behind him. And I'm going to turn that fill layer into a gradient. And so we open this up. And let's decide on the color. I think the color purple, we want almost the same. So I'm going to go like this and go back to my hex slider. Here it is. And I have the number still in my clipboard. So I'm just going to paste that right in. And that's a purple. And I don't like this white on the outside. I have to fix that later. I don't know how that happened. I somehow copied too much white. And then on the the first part maybe a lighter purple so i'm going to just pick the first one which is the same color but now i'm going to open that into my color wheel and move that and really lighten it up like this kind of like that and i think that works i'm going to delete that for now and let's go back to these guys and get rid of all this white because the white is getting me upset here. So I'm going to select the mask and with black, I am going to paint, paint out some of this white stuff and fade it all out. Just let it fade itself out like that. And maybe, let's see if we multiply this onto the background. I'm not really sure. Ooh, I like that. I kind of like some of this look. Ooh, that's pretty good too. That's a color dodge, and I kind of like that. So let's go back to this mask and get rid of some of this stuff. It has a little ghostly effect. I kind of like that coming out of him. And now let's go to the other boy. That's This is the second one. That's the middle one. This is the second one. And select the mask on that and let's paint that out too and we'll decide on the color in a minute we could multiply and that might just get rid of the white no it didn't do it let's keep it just let's keep going that's because i multiplied the mask if i multiplied him he'd be coming really dark like that so but i kind of like this dodge one so I'm going to stick with that color dodge. I kind of like the feeling of that. And it's kind of an eerie look. So, and I kind of think maybe he should be faded a little bit. Like, 
And what, what is he afraid of? I don't even know what he's afraid of. So, um, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see if we give him maybe a spaceship. I don't know. Ship. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's see. I don't even know if they have any in here that look like that. Let's try maybe Flying Saucer. Let's try, we'll go to Pixabay. We'll try Monster. This clown looks pretty good. Let's bring this clown in. Okay, maybe if we take this clown, let's bring him down and let's get rid of everything except his face. So I'm going to mask him out and I'm going to take a paintbrush and try and paint everything out except maybe his face. And I'm winging it here, folks. Trust me, I don't really prepare. I know, and I know the quality of these videos. I'm not adding all these special features to these videos. I'm just kind of having fun. I enjoy teaching, but I enjoy the process of how I came to do these things. And I think that's an important part. So if you don't like my kind of tutorials, I get it. And But some people do like them. So here I am just trial and error, and I'm doing it pretty much right in front of you. So I don't even know if this clown will work. But what I'll do is I can go like that and maybe even do a perspective. Let's see. Oops, wrong way. I'll bring him in and him down so he looks like he's looking down at them. And since this kid is originally looking up on that angle, I'll even angle it that way. And then we'll make him a little bigger and go somewhere like that. And I might just do a color overlay, but let's first try and see. Oh, I like that. So let's just multiply him. I'm kind of okay with that. I'll move it a little bit this way because the original kid is looking right up that way. So I think I'm not liking this purple. So I'm going to try it again. I'm going to open this up, maybe go more to a blue into the blue family somewhere like a deep dark deep blue like that maybe and I do kind of like that better it's a little scarier and I'm going to move him up so the eyes are just at the top and maybe give a beam let's do a beam of light so we'll put a new pixel layer and I'll even just use a rectangle like that going to give that rectangle a gradient and we're going to change that rectangle's gradient first of all we're going to go across like that and then we're going to change that gradient I want it to be we want to add a middle one insert there we go and the middle one should be a white closer to a white and then the end ones should be the opacity zero and then this one should be opacity zero. And let's just add more white. And I want that to be white also. And I think that's okay. So we'll leave that. And I'm going to right click and rasterize. And then blur it. Give effects. Gaussian blur. And blur it really good. High and move it behind the clown and let's see if we can get this clown to look like it's this beam I mean to look like it's doing something so I'm going to try perspective again and I'm going to try something like that and I'm going to lower this right to here like that give me more on this side I think and that looks good to me apply and then let's try Let's see, lighting, screen, Let's. I think screen is the way to go, but I'm going to try different things. Oh, there's an overlay. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to leave it as an or soft light. I'm going to go overlay, and I might duplicate it. So Control Command J gives it a higher brightness and then lower it just a tiny bit. So I think that's okay. And I could even shift it a little if I want, but I think I'm okay with that. So now let's do layer merge visible and that's that one here. So now we have a choice. First we could do, first of all, I'm going to do curves. 
and I think I want to lower some of this. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll just lower that way. Kind of a little bit like that. The dock. Give it a little bit of an eerie, eerie feeling. And I think I also want to give it grain. Okay, let's try another layer. And I'm going to select everything on with the rectangle tool. And I'm going to pick a neutral, I'm going to use the, the uh, flood fill. I'm going to pick a neutral gray somewhere like here. And then let's flood it. And deselect control command D. And I am going to give it, I'm going to add noise. So go to live filter, add noise. And I'm going to give it a lot of noise. Well, maybe not that much. <laughs> and I want it uniform, I think, like that. And then let's select that and change the blending mode. And that looks pretty good. I like multiply, but I'm going to go down the line. And let's see. That's overlay. That's not bad either. Multiply is so dark. I'm not sure I want to do that, but let's try multiply. And then let's cut the opacity. Uh, there you go. So we'll lower the opacity. So it kind of really has this nice eerie feeling. And I think I like that. Uh, we could add some other things around here. But I just want, again, this is a beginner's tutorial. And I just want you to see how simple that was to take the stamp tool, which is the whole point of this tutorial, and not just use it to cover up things and fix things, but to actually use it creatively. So I hope you liked this tutorial, and if you did, please click like and subscribe, and have a great day. And please share these links. Thanks so much. Bye.